Hey there, my friends. It's Christina Lynn with Christina Lynn Zen, and I hope that you're having a blessed and beautiful day. There's a lot of stuff going on in the world. It's on fire, right? And sometimes we allow that chaos outside of us to affect us inwardly. And I just wanted to share um, one of my favorite yoga poses that I do when I am feeling a little blah. I think we can all relate to that these days, right? Notice I have a bolster. You can stack, fold and stack beach towels, bath towels. I have a head blanket and you don't have to have a mat, just have a floor. Take your, la your low back, your sacrum, your lumbar back to your stacked blankets, towels or your bolster, hands back. Tuck your tailbone away from you and slowly recline back. Your head blanket should graze the top of your shoulders. Don't lay on your head blanket with your shoulders, the shoulder blades. You want your blanket grazing the top of your shoulders. Arms are in a low V, palms up. You take one leg long and you allow that inner thigh to roll towards the ceiling and then the other. Note your low back sacrum. Make sure that there is no aching pain. If there is some discomfort, sharp pain, you just bend your knees, you slide down your bolster until you find a spot that works for you. You allow the stretching, the opening of the back, the shoulders, the arms, the legs. And then you relax the gaze of your eyes. You take your eyes downward, the eye gaze downward towards your chest. And you watch the rise and fall of the chest, which is a good reminder that you are okay. <coughs> Excuse me. Energy shift there. You're okay. You're breathing. Sometimes when the world gets sideways and we go with that, the best thing to do is reground yourself, remind yourself that you're okay. In the right here, the right now, this is final pose, but it's well supported. Shavasana <coughs> 2. Excuse me. And then you just allow yourself to be right here in the moment. And if thoughts come, that are crazy, chaotic thoughts, smile at them and return to watching the rise and fall of your chest. And return to the safety in your foundation. Your foundation is what is touching. You can be here for 5, 10, 15, 20 minutes, however long you need. You bend a knee, then you bend the other knee. Sometimes it feels good to retuck. And then you safely roll off. Hold your head, hold your neck. And then you rise up with a heavy head. I hope that helps. I hope that um, if you find yourself going into the black, with the rest of the world, especially today. <laughs> um, I hope that maybe you'll try this. Let me know how it goes. You can reach me at ChristinaLynnZen.com or ChristinaLynn.Zen at gmail.com. I hope that you are leaning into God's promise of hope. I hope that you are never missing a moment to make it count. And I hope that you remember when things do get that sideways, darkness tries to drag you downward, you remember you're loved. 
You're worthy of love. And you're worthy of a little bit of a santoshic feeling, which is contentment. If you want to work on that, you know how to reach me. Know that I love you. Know that there is hope. And know that I'm over here just like you, trying to make it through life. Mwah.